with uh, Grubby from Team Meet Your Makers. Uh, you just played versus Sky and uh, lost with two maps to 0 2. Um, how do you feel after that match? Uh, I'm yeah, disappointed because uh, it would have been a good chance for me if I would be Sky to eliminate uh, a major rival for the ESWC. And uh, yeah, I also wanted to try to get a good position in this tournament. Uh, and, and the longer I'm in the tournament, the more games I get to play, which uh, which is enjoyable and also good practice. So you're basically here for the practice as you're already qualified for San Jose, or is there another objective in your mind here? Uh, it's very close to my house and the prize money is not bad. And uh, there are a lot of good opponents, so it's very, it's interesting to play. Um, you have played uh, Sky uh, while he was using a lot of towers, and towers are something that got a little bit nerfed in the latest patch. So, uh, would you think that this game would have another a different outcome if you had played uh, 1.22? No, I don't think so, because uh, I didn't really attack the towers all game. Uh, and usually when he had towers in my base, it was already over. So, uh, I, re I really understand the admin's decision to uh, play this in 1.21, because it was so short notice for them, and if anything else goes wrong, their whole event could be ruined, and it's not worth the risk. Uh, I think the worst part is that uh, people can't really watch replays from the event. Um, uh, I, for, for as a player, of course, I would have liked to play with the new patch, but it's okay. So, what's your general impression of the new patch? Um, positive, yeah, positive. Um, the Orb of Venom nerf, the Tower nerf, and uh, the Human and Elf Staff nerf. I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that, and I don't really get the the Knight. Uh, upgrade. I don't know why they had to be better. Because um, they were never used before? They were used, uh, for example, sometimes on LT against human, a lot against undead and uh, in mirror. But I didn't think that the human needed to be stronger against undead uh, or something. But, I mean, they were ridiculously weak compared to bears, for example. Uh, don't use them against elf then. <laughs> uh, not every unit has a use in every matchup. I think they had a very good role already in the game and no one really was complaining that knights should be stronger or that humans should have more alternatives. They already have a lot of different strats. Uh, uh, it's, uh, but I'm happy with the tower nerf. So um, some people say that this patch really means that the uh, balance in the um, orc human matchup really like takes complete uh, turn, like 180 degrees, that before human was stronger than orc and now orc is stronger than human. Do you agree to that? I don't agree at all. Uh, look, there's only one really significant thing that this uh, tower change does. It uh, removes the human's capability to leave their base without defending it at all with their main army and just relying on their, their towers for defense. Uh, or can't do that either. If I build one tower in my base, it's not because it will be the the super destructinator or something and kill everything that comes. The tower is there for support when I defend my base. Uh, if human has five towers and they don't defend it, now it's almost not worth it to even kill them when the human army is not there. But in the new patch, I think your army can square off better with the towers and you can actually kill it. So now the human army would have to be there. If the human army is at home, and I attack it, I'm still going to be fighting with the human army, so who cares how fast the human towers will be repaired or not. I think it just forces the human to play a little bit more safe and a little bit smarter. But it completely disables the option to uh, tower push the orc. I mean, if, if that's he's... Not true. That's not true. It disables the... It, it disables... Thank you, Lucifer. <laughs> it, it disables the human capability to tower rush when they don't have advantage which I think is uh, despicable. Like, uh, oh yeah, I lost three footmen, so let's tower. It's a good time to tower. Oh, I won. Uh, that, that kind of tower is, uh, is stupid, I think. But uh, if human army is like better at a certain timing than orcs, they can use that time to force a fight by making towers in the orc space. And it will still work, because it, it, orc will gonna have to fight. So, but you were implying in a way that the humans had an advantage before the patch over orc. Yeah, I think so. So this advantage is now gone, or um, is it now? Is it? It is now even. Is that what you're trying to say? I I, I don't think the advantage is uh, gone necessarily. Uh, I have to. I didn't play against human at all in the new patch, but um, I think uh, what's 
what changed really is the prioritization. So what does a human defend first and what does uh, an orc attack first? Like do you go first for the towers when they tower push or do you go first for the heroes or this kind of thing changed. So it changes kind of the play styles of both races, but it doesn't mean that uh, necessarily one is stronger or, or, or the other. Okay, I think we went pretty much into detail on this issue. So is there anything in particular that you would, ha would have liked to include in the new patch? Like something that you thought, oh, well, Blizzard missed out on that? Yeah, I think uh, the Orb of Venom is not nerfed enough. Uh, they r did it from 10 to 8 seconds. I think they could have at least done it to 6 seconds or uh, less damage per second instead of 8, like 7. Um, I think Steam Tanks don't give enough experience, even though it's not that relevant to me, but uh, I feel that they should give a bit more of experience. Um, uh, for the rest, I think it's uh, pretty okay, but I wish there would be additional steps from Blizzard, like they an analyze again and they, they don't neglect us like they had for one and a half year before. Uh, if, y if this is not the last patch, then I think it's a very, very satisfactory patch. But if it's the last, then maybe a few things were missing out. All right. Um, so uh, during the last few weeks, uh, were you practicing uh, or were you more taking a break? Well, uh, I had an uh, event every weekend uh, before WC3L. Practiced really, really a lot uh, before WWI. I used every second I had to practice, and uh, after WWI, I actually got a bit sick. Uh, I had a kind of like an ear infection uh, pain, and it was really hot in Netherlands. Uh, for the first one and a half day, I couldn't practice. Then I only ended up practicing like half a day before this event. So I didn't really change my strategies that much from last event, but yeah, I, I do as much as I can. So would you say that this uh, at least played a, a role in the, your defeat in the quarterfinal? Uh, I don't want to complain too much, but uh, I, I wouldn't say that this affected it because uh, I think Sky did, I mean, he, he must have thought about the games, right? Because I won before, and uh, uh, yeah, it just didn't go as smoothly as before. Um, uh, maybe uh, maybe because I didn't change my style enough. So uh, when I talk to, to German players or to other players, many of them complain that it's not really possible to practice properly while being in Europe. Uh, do you agree to that? Actually, I, I, li I really like to practice with the, the Germans. Uh, especially if they're if they're motivated, like if they got EPS and stuff, it's really interesting. There are a lot of German players who, although they might not be the the top top best in the world, uh, they are they're smart and they're they're uh, motivated and they practice a lot. So you can still have really interesting games with them. Um, yeah, for sure there are there are more Chinese players. Uh, yeah, like there, there's more playing going on in China. Uh, and more, more seriously, but that's just, I mean, it's broader, there are more, uh, but the, yeah, the top players in Europe can be just as uh, passionate. So is there any German player in particular, uh, particular that takes off a lot of maps for you? Uh, takes a lot of maps? Well, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say everyone who I practice with, because yeah, you have to be a bit secret about this, uh, but yeah. I like to play with uh, X Lord, and sometimes he wins uh, a few uh, couple of maps. Yeah. Can you give a percentage? Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it, it depends. Uh, you prefer not to comment. Yeah, I prefer not to comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I guess you heard about uh, ESL dropping Warcraft 3 in favor of uh, World of Warcraft for the upcoming Extreme Master season. What was your first reaction when you heard about this news? Uh, first disbelief, but then. Uh, I guess a dawning understanding. They want to try this out. It got more uh, players, but I wonder does it have more uh, interested viewers? Because I think if I were a WoW player, it would still be really boring to watch uh, WoW esports. I don't know if that's true, but it just seems like uh, the action is not that interesting. Uh, I think the Warcraft action is more interesting, but there are a lot more WoW players, so I guess they want to try it out, and I hope they'll come to their senses and take Warcraft back next season. So, uh, is there any confession to make for you that you ever played WoW or played even WoW on a bit more serious level? Uh, no, I, I, uh, I played up until like level 15 on the beta, but uh, I didn't really like it. So, uh, maybe if I play now again, it could be fun for the story, like PvE. But uh, I think the PvP is boring and 
I think the PvE is also uh, too time-consuming and uh, boring. All right, so um, I'm